This issue of Nintendo Power is jam-packed full of great content, including previews from games like Zelda, Double Dragon, and Contra. Let's take a closer look at Nintendo Power Volume 1. Nintendo Power Magazine had an impressive run from 1988 through 2012. The magazine featured awesome artwork and many great games. Join me as I revisit these issues and highlight the content inside in Nintendo Power Recharged. The premier issue of Nintendo Power showcases many great games, including Super Mario Bros. 2, which is shown on the front. The cover from this issue features a really cool clay sculpture from Super Mario Bros. 2. As the headline title, the game is extensively highlighted in the magazine. Super Mario Bros. 2 was developed by Nintendo in 1988. The game varies considerably from the previous entry in the series, being only single player, but having the choice to play as one of four distinct characters. Each character controls differently, and I always find myself playing as Princess Toadstool with her ability to float while jumping. The game is a huge upgrade from the original, from the graphics to the gameplay and level design. Each world is diverse, and there are creative bosses at the end of each stage. There are many unique and fun features in the game, from the slot machine minigame to earn extra lives, the mushrooms to access hidden subspaces, and the secret warp areas. Super Mario Bros. 2 is an excellent installment on the NES. The Counselor's Corner segment answers player questions on how to overcome difficult areas within the games. This issue reveals how to defeat the Red Devil and Ghosts and Goblins, the various bosses in Castlevania, and the formidable Mike Tyson in Punch-Out. It also reveals tips on where to obtain power-up items in Metroid, as well as how to get unlimited lives in Super Mario Bros. Another feature game in this issue is The Legend of Zelda on the NES. This segment highlights the second quest from The Legend of Zelda, being accessed after being the main game, or by registering your name as Zelda on the start screen. The story and gameplay are unchanged in this version, but the enemies are more difficult. The dungeon layouts are also different, with helpful maps provided within the issue. While the overworld map is the same, the item placements are completely changed from the first quest. A detailed pullout map is included, laying out the entire overworld with all of the item locations revealed. On the reverse side is a poster featuring some of the early baseball titles on the NES. The games included are RBI Baseball, Bases Loaded, and Major League Baseball. This section overviews the gameplay of each title and outlines the differences between each game. Bases Loaded has an awkward behind-the-pitcher camera angle and slow transitions between each play. Major League Baseball has an improved camera view, but the control is limited and the game setup is time-consuming. While I'm not a huge fan of sports games in general, RBA Baseball is the best of the three, with a fast startup and intuitive controls. The Classified Information section offers secret codes, tips, and passwords to help you master your favorite games. This issue discusses how to pull your goalie in ice hockey and reveals a code for extra ammunition and gun smoke. The classic Konami code is listed here to allow you to start with 30 lives in Contra. Another game highlighted in this issue is Double Dragon. Double Dragon is a side-scrolling beat-em-up game on the NES. You fight through a variety of missions on a rival gang's turf to rescue your kidnapped girlfriend. The game offers a diverse moveset as well as allowing you to pick up and use weapons within the environment. While the main game can only be played with one player at a time, there's a separate game mode where two players can fight in a head-to-head -head match. With an excellent soundtrack and fun gameplay, this is one of the best beat-em-ups on the system. Before the days of internet reviews, the top 30 section listed the best ranked games for the time. Some great titles stack up at the top of the list with Zelda, Punch-Out, and Metroid. Some of the other recommendations are hard to believe, however, with Top Gun and Double Dribble ranking ahead of Castlevania, Mega Man, and Contra. Next up is a feature on the NES game Gauntlet. Based on the arcade game of the same name, Gauntlet is a top view dungeon crawling game. You fight through maze-like levels, gathering keys, treasure chests, and potions before finding an exit to move deeper into the dungeon. You can choose between four distinct playable characters, each with different attacks and movement speed. While the music is a little limited, I always enjoy the sound effects when obtaining food to restore your health. The game is both challenging and fun, making you want to keep trying to get just a little further each time. The Pack Watch segment gives you a sneak peek at some of the upcoming games that were in development. Most of the games here followed through with future releases, but I always enjoy seeing titles that were never completed. 
A game called Chesterfield talks about an underground maze on an island battlefield where you must rescue a princess from an evil general. Empire City 1931 is an underworld struggle with gangsters and the mob that was in production by Acclaim. The last full feature in this issue is Contra for the NES. Contra is a run and gun action game from Konami, ported to the NES from the arcades. The game follows the adventure of two Contra commandos as they infiltrate and destroy an invading alien entity. There's a variety of different levels to play through with bright and colorful sprites. The gameplay is both challenging and fun with precise and responsive controls. Contra also offers an excellent soundtrack, one of my favorites on the system. Another great feature of the game is the two-player mode, offering a fun co-op experience. This game is a classic on the NES. It's a lot of fun to dive into these old magazines and revisit some of the great games being released and discussed at the time. That's all for this episode of Nintendo Power Recharged. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of the other content on my channel. I have a feature called Series Spotlight where I overview an entire game series, like this one on Pilot Wings. I also have a series called Gaming Guides where I give retro gaming tips and tutorials like how to make video game perler art. As always, thank you for watching.